Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to the Urban Northwest channel. Um, sorry about the delays on the video. Been really sick lately. Had this crazy cough and all kinds of fever, cough, and just being a big baby, alright? But other than that, uh, today's topic is going to be about the REI Trail 40 Day Pack slash multi day backpack, too, as well. We're going to be talking about more about the multi day. Uh, backpacking use um, it's just gonna be a quick one so keep that in mind um, you're gonna see me just pack the, the hell out of it real quick and show you some features and get you guys going again okay uh, but stay tuned uh, be sure to like share and subscribe right away so don't forget because I do have other videos coming up here soon um, that I think you don't want to miss all right here it is let's get started So this is how the uh, REI Trail 40 day pack slash multi-day backpack, I think, uh, looks like when it's all packed up for a multi-day trip. Um, quick disclosure, I haven't took this out yet on a multi-day trip, but from the looks of it, uh, comparable to the other backpacks that I have taken out on multi-day trip, this one is truly capable, just, just by experience alone. <clears throat> um the the best feature I like is the capability of putting your tent at the bottom of your pack. You know. This is the uh Alps uh mountaineering Lynx one. I believe these are this tent is discontinued. I'm not sure, I haven't seen it uh in the stores uh, lately. But you probably could still pick it up online. But yeah, it fits in there. It fits right there. Uh, I got some uh, room to spare too, see? So you just you put it there and you yank it. The, the build is pretty fairly good. Um, I wish they had a little bit more compression straps, but that's okay. You can get it closer to your body. <clears throat> I can compromise with that. It has like a steel frame, I think. Um, so it's really rigid. See? Right here. Really rigid. Yeah. And you'll have a heck of a time putting your hydration bladder in there. It like, it's like, you have to like pry it open. Here's the uh, frame again. It's like a steel frame. It's light. Lightweight still. Um, so, <clears throat> you guys seen what I packed in the in the bag already. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and uh, show you some of the features um, of the backpack itself, you know, during use. Uh, the uh, backpack has uh, some mesh paddings, a lot, not like, like a lot of the backpacks out there, breathable mesh padding. This is a size large, right? Uh, the pockets, you can stuff the heck out of the pockets. The side pockets here. This is something I've been looking for for quite some time. So let's just take these items out here real quick. Let me just show you here. You can see that? I'm just gonna stretch it out. Look. See that? Oh, that's pretty big. You can put all kinds of stuff in here. Okay. Look. My whole hand in there too. So the pockets are a plus, a plus plus. Um, you know, I just got some gloves right here on this side, but look at that, see, put all kinds of stuff in here. If you get the backpack all stuffed up, the compression of the bag will make these tighter, so the, uh, the uh, side pocket tighter. 
Uh, what else? Uh, oh, right here, the front part. It's made out of the same uh, material, <clears throat> like this mesh type of material. Stretchy, so you could put maybe like wet items in here if you want to go ahead and dry it out. Pretty cool. Just put some little bit of toilet trees in there. I'm not going backpacking anytime soon at this moment. This is just a test that, uh, you know, you gotta test out your gear before you actually bring it out. Make sure it's uh, reliable, it won't break on you. So I'll probably take this backpack how it is, maybe for a quick day hike, just to see how it works. Um, so let's get inside at the bag. Uh, so first part right here, pretty neat little pocket. Um, you can put your uh, your you know your first aid kit right on top for easy access. All right. What else is in here? Oh yeah, that's right. I took out some items. Get some paracord. Some hanks of paracord right in here. Um, my solar charger was supposed to be in here too, but I took it out to charge something up real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and open up the bag. How about that? Close this up right here. Open up the bag. <clears throat> so they call it a U-shaped zipper opening. So pretty quick. So this is pretty neat. This little clips right here, you can use it to clip your tent poles. I mean tent poles, uh, hiking poles. You put it right here. Put it through right here. You clip it on. Then you put your uh, the, the bottom of the hiking pole down at the bottom. I personally won't use it. Uh, maybe in the future I probably will, but I don't see myself using any hiking poles anytime soon. Uh, moving forward. <coughs> so, back to the zipper. So it's a U-shaped type of zipper. Check this out. This is the best feature I think it has. So you use the same hiking pole part and you put it right over here, right, to the other loop. I don't know what they call that. Um, but you put the other side like that, all right? So now you can't open all the way here, see? But check this out. You go like this, you open it up, and there's another zipper right here. See, and it doesn't go all the way down. So you can keep it like an actual backpack. Uh, you know, like a, uh, like one of those, uh, the stuffing backpacks, you just stuff the heck out of it, right? You can do it that way too. So it's pretty neat. Uh, you got a little extra area here for other stuff that you may need. Maybe other toiletries, emergency kits, or whatever it may be, right? So you can work your backpack this way. It works perfectly fine, like this too. Uh, you know. So let's go ahead and close this up here. Let's go ahead and uh, unhook this part. So. So it's like one of those uh, rip away medic bags, I think. So take a look now. Look like that. There it is. And it's open. So you got all your stuff that you need to take out in here. So I got extra clothing. Got my sleeping bag. I normally pair this sleeping bag in cold weather with my uh, Soul Escape BV. You know, because you know sometimes it gets really cold. Right? I added some more food. Um, comparable to what you guys seen earlier, I uh, added some actual food that I normally usually bring. Um, got my Static 5 air mattress. Pretty cool. A little bit on the heavy side, but it works. And ultimately, that's it. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. So, so let's go ahead and uh, put this all, zip it all up, up again. So there you go. That's how it looks like. It's kind of empty. The side right here, it's another zipper, so you can put your uh, water filtration uh, system here for easy access. So if you're on the trail trying to fill up some water, you can just take it out from here. This I like. I'm always having a hard time where to put this guy. In my other backpacks, but this is I, li I like this part. Um, let's go ahead and release the. Uh, remove the. Uh, tent here. So there's the tent. So this bottom part here has an extra zipper. 
kind of tucked away. See that? That's for the rain fly. Or I'm sorry, rain cover. Right, so you can put a rain cover right on that bad boy. But if you're not using the rain cover, if you can relocate this rain cover, for whatever reason, maybe put it in the bottom of the backpack. Uh, if you know it's not going to rain at all, of course, right? Uh, but you never know. You can put some other items in here. Um, I would put maybe, I don't know, just emergency stuff, extra rope, uh, maybe extra toiletry just in case, right? I think uh, not having extra toiletry is an emergency, right? If you run out of a TP, I think that's an emergency, personally, myself. Side pockets. Side pockets are decent. I didn't fill the side pockets because there's really nothing I want to fill in here. Maybe you guys might feel something else different. And keep in mind, I feel the backpack are the things that I use and it works for me. Um, what you guys use may be dif different um, on what your weather conditions are or where you live at. So keep in mind, this stuff here might not actually work for you. You might not even like this type of backpack. This backpack might not even be the, the right backpack for what you do, okay? But it's perfect for what I normally do. So, uh, got me my... Uh, Candy bar, right? Some visine, just in case your eyes get red all of a sudden. Um, this one here, left empty. Um, but have you noticed here? It has two different uh, type of uh, mesh. This one here has a stretchy mesh again, right? To air out some stuff. I don't know what, what kind of small items you want to air out. I don't know, maybe some small gear. Um, and this one here has uh, more of a, uh, uh, a covered, covered private um, you know, zipper deal there. Uh, overall, I brought this out for day hiking, you guys seen in my videos. I mean, it passed there, but it wasn't loaded out. So, next time I bring this out, I'm gonna load it, load it up. And I'll probably try to pull maybe about 25, 30 pounds on it um, to see if that's even capable of doing that much. Um, I think it'll, it'll do fantastically fine uh, my biggest worry is um, is uh, I'm actually be honest with you I don't have any biggest worries on here um, my biggest worries maybe is just comfortability that's about it but it is a size large so it is measured for my size uh, I'm a large person right so that's that <coughs> And when I go hiking, uh, backpacking for a multi-day hike, I just don't bring this, right? As you notice, I have the uh, Mora, I mean, uh, the uh, Baco Laplander saw, right? So give me a second, let me grab this here. So I also have this that I bring. See that? So I got the bear spray, got me the Red 5, Got me a flashlight in here. It's a red line flashlight. It's a cheap old flashlight. But this cheap old flashlight's been running for about three years now. So it's reliable. I bring it out with me all the time. I go backpacking, camping, hiking, all kinds of you. So this is the exact setup that I have. Um, uh, I've been having this uh, Condor Drop holster uh, for about six months now. And I've used it uh, periodically on uh, multi-day hikes. And it's comfy. It gives me access to immediate bear spray or immediate survival tactical knife, right? Uh, normally this knife never actually leaves here. When I go hiking, I have a little other small knife that I use, uh, maybe like a mortar or maybe like a pocket knife. This knife never gets no action. Uh, there's no reason for it to come out. <coughs> Personally, myself, okay? <coughs> I got a flashlight. So, you know, really, really basic, really simple. If you guys haven't experimented with the drop holster, I recommend you would try this. If you like uh, backpacking a lot and you just need a little extra space to put some items, get the drop holster with the, um, uh, with the molly, molly webbing. Um, this also came with a pouch. Um, the pouch is buried in my, uh, my closet, my gear closet, so... You know how that gets. <clears throat> but uh, overall, um, that's just what I, other things I bring. You know, things that I haven't mentioned that I bring too. Uh, camera, uh, extra food. Normally I bring a, um, 
um, some actual meat sometimes. You know, just little basic things, you know. Um, what else? That's, a, that's ultimately about it. Um, I'm not there to, out to survive, I'm there to have fun. So, <clears throat> well, there it is, guys. Um, well, I hope you like it. Uh, please uh, like, share, and subscribe. Like always, uh, I'll pump out some more, uh, some more videos. I've been sick lately, that's why I haven't been pumping out any videos. But other than that, uh, uh, I got a lot of things on my mind and a lot of uh, <coughs> other videos coming up here soon. So stay tuned. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe uh, and share with your family and friends. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a good day.